Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Yeah, to find the value of a and b, where a and b are natural number. So here, yeah, what is given, which is a raised to power three minus b raised to power three equals to sixty one. On the left hand side here, apply the identity here, which is become a minus b into bracket then we have a square plus a b plus b square and here equals to 61 on this side then here 61 we can write it as 1 times 61 also we can write it as 61 times 1 and here we should note that a minus b will be less than this other bracket which is a square plus a b plus b square that is from here the first here we work that is we have a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square then equals to 1 times 61 that is from here we can equate a minus b to 1 so here we have a minus b equals to 1 and the other one which is a square plus a b plus b square equals to 61 then on the first equation here we can take minus b here and make a the subject and this becomes a equals to 1 plus b so from here using this relation here and substitute into this second equation this becomes 1 plus b all square then plus 1 plus b times b then plus here we have b square equals to 61 and when we expand here this become 1 square plus 2 times 1 times b that's still 2b then plus b square that's the expansion here then also b we expand this so we have plus b times 1 that's b then plus b times b b square then here also plus b square equals to 61 then from what we have here 1 square here is still 1 so we have 1 plus here we have 2b plus b that gives us 3b then plus we have b square plus b square plus b square we have there 3b square which is equal to 61 then from here let's rearrange here and bring 61 also to this side so here we have 3 b square plus 3b plus 1 then minus 61 equals to 0 from here that this here becomes 3b square plus 3b then 1 minus 61 that's minus 60 then equals to 0 from here then also we can divide 3 here by 3 and here reduce to b square plus b then minus 20 equals to 0 from here then here a quadratic equation which we can solve by factorization method and here the product which is minus 20 can be written as 5 times minus 4 and also the sum which is 1 here can be written as 5 minus 4 so here now 
we can write this as b square plus 5b then minus 4b then minus 20 we then be equal to 0 from here then we group this together to two and factor out this common here we have b common we have b left then plus 5 left here then here we have minus 4 common then we have b left here also plus 5 left here equals to 0 from here then b plus 5 common also factor that out then we are left with b minus 4 and which is equals to 0 from here then the two cases here we have b plus 5 equals to 0 or we have b minus 4 equals to 0 that is here we have b equals to minus 5 and here we have b equals to 4 then from the relation we have which is a equals to 1 plus b here we can get the corresponding value of a here for this side we have a now equals to 1 plus minus 5 that's 1 minus 5 and which will be a equals to minus 4 then recall that the set a and b should be a member of natural number which is counting number and here we have minus so we have you know negative there so here is not a solution here for this minus 5 or minus 4 then on this side as well we have a equals to 1 plus b here which is 4 then a here is equals to 5 then the solution here will be a comma b which is now equals to 5 comma 4 then we have the solution here to this problem we can equally check to confirm if this satisfies the given equation here we have a comma b to be equals to 5 comma 4 now let's substitute what we have here that is here becomes 5 raised to power 3 then minus b now that's 4 raised to power 3 with this be equal to 61 and here 5 raised to power 3 we have 1 125 then we have minus 4 raised to power 3 4 multiplied itself 3 times so that gives us 64 is this equal to 61 then when we subtract here this side will be 61 which is also equal to 61 we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and hence we can conclude that here the solution which is a equals to 5 and b equals to 4 satisfy the given problem thank you for watching subscribe my channel and turn the inspiration button. See you next lesson. Bye for now.